and weather. And welcome back. We're taking a look at the Watkins Glen Sky Cam. Sun's starting to go down across the region and temperatures will begin to go down with it as well. As we continue on into the evening, had another day where we had up temperatures up into the mid 70s. And if we look around the region, got a couple 70s. 75 Elmira, 72 in Wellsboro, up towards 76 in Dansville, and it got as warm as 70 in Ithaca, so lots of 60s and 70s across the region, and more of that expected for tomorrow, and even then beyond into the week, we've got lots of weather still just, or at least I should say warm weather, coming into the region and staying put for a couple of days. But now temperatures have started to sink back down into the 60s. We got 65 Canistillo and 69 in both Elmire and Ridgebury, 64s for Tioga and Mansfield. Further north, it's 65 in Penyan, and as cold as 59 in Cortland. So we're starting to see those temperatures make their way back down uh, towards the 50s and then later to the 40s tonight. Not as cold as we have had uh, the last couple of nights, but still down closer to that 40 degree mark. Dew points have remained low across the region, and that's what's contributing to the dry air and the rapid increase and decrease of the temperatures over the last couple of days. There's just not that much moisture near the surface and in the atmosphere, so it really allows those, those temperatures to have a lot of volatility, a lot of seasonality, very similar to what you see out further inland over in the plains, but we're experiencing it here in our region. Now the morning lows are going to be on the up and up until we get to Wednesday. We'll be as warm as 53 when we start our day, and you look up to the top left of your screen there, the average low says 37. So even though 43 a tad chilly, still above average for this time of year, but we're looking to revert back to those averages as we get closer and closer to the end of the week. Let's look at that satellite and radar and well the lack of real clouds in the region has just been much in part thanks to high pressure staying put around the Ohio Valley and all that air making its way into our region allowing for just pleasant conditions and a real lack of anything going on. Uh, most of those clouds off to the north in parts of Canada uh, off here this evening. Look at our area very much clear as day not much going on and similar conditions expected as we go into the evening and into Monday morning. We might see a few light clouds here and there, especially more towards the Finger Lakes region, but for us here in the Twin Tiers and the Southern and Northern Tier, very much going to be quiet all throughout the day going into our Monday. Now, looking ahead, we're going to see when the next chance of at least a little bit more active weather comes around. It's not Monday, it's not Tuesday, it's a cold front coming down through Wednesday, and Wednesday night is when we're going to see some rain showers roll in, and it's going to bring those temperatures down into the 50s, so more normal conditions expected. It's going to take a couple days to get there. Now, our 5-degree guarantee, we forecast a high of 73 today, exceeded expectations 75. That's from data from the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. And your temperature tonight, 43, so staying on the chilly side, clear skies, so no clouds to hold any of that heat in place. And just more warm weather is on the way. 79 for Monday and Tuesday with plenty of sunshine. 75 on Wednesday and that rain starting very late in the evening. A couple of showers possible on Thursday and temperatures, they drop back down to the 50s. But they go back up to the 60s in time before the weekend. We have a chance of showers coming around towards the end of the weekend on Sunday.